Satnam, I'm Nirvar Singh Khalsa, and here we are in the month of May. We're going to practice this terrific Kriya that Yogi Bhajan taught on April 10th, 1996. I've actually been practicing and, and teaching this Kriya since I discovered it because in my travels I've been uh, doing a few workshops and teaching about the Ten Bodies. And this is for the, the Sixth Body and the Arc Line. And I just really like this Kriya. <laughs> and and uh, I've been teaching it to individual people as well because I myself really like the benefits of it. Now the arc line relates to Ajna Chakra and it's this of course this halo of energy that runs over the top of the head from ear to ear and in women they have an extra arc line that runs across the chest as well. Now the arc line gives you the power of prayer and it also has a protective quality to it. Nowadays, it's always good to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it and to set very clear intentions as to the actions that you're going to take because with the speed of these times and with the challenges of the times, it's always just really good to have that, that clear direction and so the arc line really gives you that ability to focus. And so if you want to really set a good clear intention, work on the arc line. Actually do this Kriya beforehand so that you can have a direction. Part of this Kriya too, there's, there's two parts to it. Uh, there, and you know, the first part is really an o, one of these O breath uh, Kriyas that Yogi Bhajan taught and so you'll find it very energizing and you're kind of locked into the uh, the arc line and the dimension of the arc line as a, as a matter of fact Yogi Bhajan talks about if you when you set yourself in this position to stay super steady without moving it's almost kind of like having you know a socket plugged into I mean a plug into put into a socket you know so that you're using the prana the energy of the breath to really um, energize the arc line and then the second part you're he said he, he the instructions he actually gave is hammer the mantra you're gonna chant the mantra hud you know pulling the navel point in as you chant the mantra hud just for a couple of minutes and so in in with the focus and the direction that you have with your intention, you can add that whole dimension of energy of the navel center point so that it becomes very active in, in terms of, of providing the energy of the universe, that pranic energy, and the energy of your own personal energy through the navel point. So this is really amazing. It'll make you light, it'll make you bright. Matter of fact, Yogi Bhajan said, he says, it'll turn you entirely into an arc line so that you can act as a sensory human. You can really use the intuitive process that's generated by the Ajna Chakra and you can remain bright in your projection so that when you are active and when you do decide to do it in action, you can have efficiency and actually it can work. So you always start with the tune in mantra, Aung Namo Guru Dev Namo, and do it three times. And then you're going to actually have the hands up by the sides like this, so that the, the tops of the fingers are in the level kind of with the ear lobes. Elbows are back so the chest up can be high and you're really on your sit bones, you're going to be in neck lock, the eyes are going to be closed, and then you're going to make an O out of your mouth. He actually said crunch your mouth into an O. <laughs> so it's like this. And you do deep, powerful breathing through the mouth, and you listen to that sound. It's not a whistle sound. It's just the sound of the breath coming in through the O mouth. And you do that for eight minutes. And at the end of those eight minutes, 
Then you chant the mantra Had, really using the tip of the tongue and the navel point, like this. Had, 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 had. And right at the end, you're going to hold the breath two times. Sometimes he does it three times. He said two times are enough, where you tighten everything and you actually tighten your lips two times as you suspend the breath. I really hope you enjoy this Kriya. I think it has a very powerful effect. People are, if you practice this Kriya for this whole month of May, people are going to come up to you and say, what's different about you? Did you change your hair? <laughs> you look, you look different. Anyway, the arc line is amazing. And so just actually work on the arc line and watch how it transforms your life. So that now.